Hello, welcome to Jason Wood Community Home. I'm Jay Lepley, the team leader of the Building System Shop, and today I'm here to show you our roof line. Right here behind me and around me, we've got bundles of different pre-cut roof rafters from our CNC machine, all with the plumb cuts at the ridge blocking the rims, all the level and plumb cuts at the eaves and places for subfascia. And these get forklifted up and onto these rollers over here. This allows the guys not to have to bend over and lift material up, so it's at a good working surface. They unbundle this, they move it down into the framing station. And you can see that all the material the accuracy of the cuts allows us to just go ahead and start framing. All of this is already marked out on the Hundigger with the inkjet for pre-layout, so each joist can then be nailed. The layout is also put on here for this extra blocking to allow us to pick these in the air, as we'll see further on and on site. As you can see down here, Seth, our shop leader, is putting on one of the rakes for the roof panels. And that allows for that extra accuracy. Usually our roof panels are about eight foot wide. This is a little less. We get to build in the roof rake, which is great not having to do that type of work on, out in the field. The roof panel then comes up over onto these rollers and gets screwed into a fence over here. This allows us to keep our panels square and to sheath accurately. Being here in the shop, we're able to be right where Chris is and pick up sheets of plywood with a vacuum lift with ease and just place them right on top of our roof panels. As you can see here, they've already sheathed the exterior of the roof panel. We're using 5 8 zip system that's been taped over 14 inch deep rafters. And then after that's all nailed off, we're putting on our tow boards for climbing up the roof and these straps are put here so that one we can flip it here in the shop with the crane overhead and then it rolls on down the line to the picking strap so we can shift it to a good working angle on site to land from ridge to eave. So once this flip, Justin pulls this out of the fence on both sides, lets it down, and then this roof panel will move along after it's flipped. These are just temporary skis to allow it to go on the rollers because of the tow board. Once we're here, we've got our cellulose blowing machine. Over here we have this gigantic hopper that takes a whole pallet of cellulose in it. So we're able to sift in a pallet of cellulose. It has an elevator that pushes it up and on the top of it, it has a scraper that pulls off the cellulose and feeds into an agitator. That agitates it all up, gets it nice and fluffy, then goes through a series of hoses to the platen. Now this platen has both commands here and commands over there on a tablet. And as you can see, it's got these lasers to allow you to see right where you'll be filling. This machine fills one of these cavities about a two foot by 10 foot cavity in about 70 seconds. So it has the great consistency to be the same every single time in every bay and the same accuracy in every single bay. We can then always check the quality right after. We have a feel, we can feel how it is and see how dense it is. We can also take core samples to make sure our density is correct, but there's preset settings in the machine to allow us to keep with that two foot bay, or we can go with a slimmer bay. This looks like about an eight inch bay. Once this is filled, we go to our next station, and that's our base for a control layer. At this station, just like our walls, we're putting on 7 16 sheathing. At this station, we tape each piece of sheathing. 
and this allows us for our air seal. Our job here, all these guys' job is to air seal each panel here in the shop, and then the site crews on site will air seal the two of them together. There's a bit of a shiplap joint that happens with every panel. So there's tape that goes on top, and then there's tape that goes on the next panel, and you'll see that down here. Buzz right now is dealing with a penetration through the roof, a plumbing penetration, where he'll be slipping in a piece of PVC that will be a sleeve for plumbing on site. Again, we don't want anybody messing with the inside skin of our panel, so we try to predetermine all the penetrations here. You can see we've taped this whole panel. We've routed some conduit from some specialty surface mounted fixtures in this building. This is a Benson wood. So typically we see all of our surface mounted having to go up these seams, which you see on either side of this panel. So we leave the finish an inch and a half back one for a strip of tape to air seal the building on site and two for a place to run Romex from the eaves to the ridge or to come over and have a surface mounted box. And our batten strip carry through from finish to finish on the panels all the way from the eave to the ridge. And in there is where the Romex would run and it covers it up and then we use light blocks or fan blocks to do any surface mounted fixtures here. Up here you can see some innovation that we have and this is a roof cleat and this actually helps the guys on site raise it and stick it right inside the frame. The frame has a trough for this to actually sit in and it really is helpful while setting these panels. It automatically squares it up and if we have ceiling boards instead of drywall as we do on this panel, that means all the seams would line up correctly because this is always the place that dictates the distance from each and every one. This then gets into a bundle and we stack about three or four high and we shrink wrap it, it gets loaded on the truck and you can see how this roof would go very fast on site. So it's, it's a fast pace moving as opposed to trusses going in on site. You get this roof in about a half a day, your, your building is airtight, weatherproof, and ready for a blower door test. So over here, we have our open cavity shop, and I'm gonna go in reverse order here. So this is the last station right now for the open cavity shop. And this is where we've got about an eight by 32 foot squaring fence right here. And we have a panel in it right now. And we, that's about what we build, eight by 28, eight by 32 panels that have another shiplap detail. So a joist is left out over here. And then there is a, the leading edge panel would have a joist under this. We're using seven eighths sheathing here. So again, we're using the vacuum lift to keep going sheathing by sheathing by sheathing. You can see the accuracy down the length of this panel, a nice straight run. So these guys get to the tolerances of a 16th here, and that's why we screw everything off in the fence. The floor systems go so quickly on site, and they're so important and an integral part to our raising sequence on site. When we are on site, once we get those four walls off, you can imagine these floor panels going on in eight foot sections going eave to eave. They go really fast, probably within an hour to two hours. And you know, it, it really helps when we have specialty cutouts so those corners are already taken care of. We don't cut at the corner. We try to put the corner within the panel so all the hard work is done here in the shop. This is then lifted from these picking holes both in here in the shop to the place of the bundling area and also on site. So before this process would be the framing of that panel. And it's a lot like the framing that you saw on the roof panels. In this case, I have here another crucial part to our raising during the, during the floor assembly. And that's our site construction stairs. 
And even though we just need these to walk up and down the floors, it's a huge benefit. We all, you can see we do mortise and tenon joinery with the actual stairs. So there's no anybody building or figuring out this is all done on CAD. It gets fit out on the CNC machine and then just bolted together and it can come back home with us and by unbolting or it can just stay whole. It's a huge benefit rather than carrying around ladders all over the job site. We just put it in right during the raising along with our site railings and everything else. This shop also deals with all of our other open cavity materials. You can see here roof rafters for exterior porches where it has a bit of a dovetail joint and you can see the accepting pieces for that here. It also does exterior decks. This is where we do all of our interior walls. and any other open cavity components. So thank you. That's a tour of the roof shop and the open cavity shop here at Bensonwood and Unity Homes.